Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobot Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. We're diving into the world of city builders today, and I'm showcasing the best ones that you can look forward to in 2023, 2024. And I guarantee that I've got a few on this list that you've not heard of. There are so many great upcoming city builders. It was a real challenge to get this list down to 40. It sounds insane but it's not. Uh, remember, the best way to follow the games and support the developers is by clicking on the links in the description, wishlisting the games that interest you. It's a great way to show the developers that you're interested. Now, I've only included unreleased upcoming games, but stick around to the end for some bonus city builders that you can play right now. So city builders have minor crossover with some base builders and I've covered base builders much more extensively in the video that's on screen right now and also linked at the top of the description. You can check that out for more great strategy games if you're interested. And just before we get started, I really should note that if you've not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you absolutely should. According to the YouTube statistics, only 17.6% of you are actually subscribed to the channel. So subscribe because I release daily videos showcasing new city builder, new base builder strategy games each and every day of the week. Literally as the games on this list are released, I will be covering them on the channel. Let me know if there's any city builders that I've missed in the comments down below, and if you'd like to see these videos early and support the channel, check out the Patreon page. Right, let's get to the city builders. In Laysara Summit Kingdom, you've got to build and expand your very own settlements in the high mountains. Carefully plan production chains and satisfy various needs of your three caste society whilst dealing with mountain hazards such as weather, breakdowns, avalanches, the whole shebang. Start in the lowlands and work your way up the mountains, building increasingly complex villages and outposts. I played the demo of Laysara recently, and I can officially say I'm very, very excited. This game has the potential to be a truly unique game in the city building genre. I mean, how many other mountain city builders can you actually name? My video is up in the top right hand corner if you want to watch more, uh, but this is a game I would strongly advise you check out the demo for and wishlist if indeed you're interested, as this is a game you're not going to want to miss. This game is releasing in 2023. I've got no more information on that. However, stay tuned to the channel and I'll let you know when it comes out. Let's get the obvious one out of the way early on, shall we? Create and manage your own city without restrictions. Offering deep simulation and a living economy, City Skylines 2 will challenge your decision-making skills and allow you to build the cities of your dreams. Get ready for a new epic scale city builder and perhaps the most realistic one you've ever seen. So here your city will evolve and react to your decisions, a dynamic and ever-changing world that is both challenging and rewarding. Use your creativity and strategic planning skills to grow your city into a thriving metropolis that will attract businesses, residents, and tourists alike. From residential neighborhoods to bustling downtowns, the possibilities are endless. Navigate through the complexities of running a city and keep up with the needs and demands of your citizens. See your city grow and transform over time with stunning graphics that are as beautiful as they are detailed. City Skylines 2 will bring your city to life. Now, of course, City Skylines 2 is on this list, the original is one of the best, most highly regarded city builders of all time. However, there is tragically little information about this title other than a cinematic trailer, but I cannot wait to see more. City Skylines 2 is listed as coming soon, so no word on a release date yet, but you can bet I'll be checking this one out. Earth of Orion is a city builder set in a medieval world filled with story and heart. Build your kingdom however you see fit. Will you inspire and lead your people with kindness and generosity, or command them with an iron fist and crush dissent beneath your heel? Starting from nothing, you must shape your kingdom perfectly to your vision whilst managing the needs and wants of your people. Build great cities, mighty castles, bustling towns, and the laws and moral system to guide them all. Raise and manage armies to protect your kingdom from your enemies in real-time battles. Manage your economy, gather resources, trade with other civilizations, and research new technologies. I'm super excited to see how this one turns out. I'm a total sucker for castle, city, building, games. Uh, it's got a great art style, and it looks to be an interesting title. This one is listed as coming soon, so no word on a release time frame quite yet, but if I had to guess, I'd suspect that a demo will be along quite soon indeed. Maybe even by the time that you watch this video. Get subscribed to the channel, because this is a top priority of mine 
to cover when it comes out. This is more of a city rebuilder, really, but Infection Free Zone is set in a post apocalyptic world where you play on any city in the world using real geographical data. You take charge of a group of survivors from your chosen city and try to create a self sustaining settlement by rebuilding and readapting the buildings around you. But be careful, because when the night falls, you have to defend the zone from the infected, who are fast, strong, and aggressive. You can use your knowledge of the city to find useful resources such as food, medicine, and weapons, but beware of the dangers lurking in the dark. Infection Free Zone is a game that combines strategy, simulation, and action in a unique way. Customize your base of operations, set up shelters, production facilities, adapt existing buildings to new needs, build new farms and powerhouses, and establish defenses with walls, gates, and towers. You can also explore the city and scavenge for supplies, but be prepared to face the consequences of your actions. Infection Free Zone is a game that will challenge your decision making and planning skills, as well as your survival instincts. It's a game that'll make you feel like you're living in a real zombie apocalypse. Now, I really enjoyed this game when I played the demo, linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. And I'd strongly encourage you to keep an eye on it. No word on a release date yet, but I'm absolutely going to be keeping my eye on this one. I'll take every opportunity to talk about Manor Lords. I talked about it in my list of upcoming base builders, and I'll talk about it again now. Manor Lords is a medieval city building strategy game with a focus on visual and simulated realism. You grow your settlement, manage its politics and relations with other kingdoms, and fight in real time battles, all whilst gathering resources, assigning jobs to your people. The game provides a gridless city building experience with full freedom of placement and rotation. Building mechanics are motivated by the growth of real medieval towns and villages where major trade routes and the landscape influenced how settlements were shaped and developed. Manor Lores prioritizes historical accuracy wherever possible, using it to inform gameplay mechanics and visuals alike. Common medieval tropes are avoided in favor of historical accuracy in order to make the world feel more authentic, colorful, and believable. I've talked a bunch about how excited I am for Manor Lords. I genuinely can't wait for this title. The demo, very, very early stage that I played it, uh, was one of the finest base builders that, uh, that I've played. Um, there's no word on a release date yet. It's going to be sometime in 2023. Um, but... I, watch out for this one. It's gonna be good when it comes, so keep watching it. If you're looking for a city building game like Frostpunk, but without the frost, then I've got the game for you. New Cycle is a strategy slash colony survival game set in 2073, after a solar flare wiped out most of the technology and civilization on Earth. You have to lead your people to rebuild a new society while facing the challenges of a harsh and unpredictable world. You can craft, build, manage, and survive in a diesel punk-esque setting where you have to balance your resources, morale, and workforce. You can also research forgotten technologies and enact societal rules to move humanity forward. New Cycle is a game that promises to bring fresh new life to the colony survival genre with its immersive narrative and mechanics. It's currently in development and planned to be released in quarter two of 2023 on Steam, which is quite soon. Uh, so yeah, play the demo, follow the Steam page for updates. If you're looking for a city builder like Frostpunk, but with the frost, then you should consider wishlisting Frostpunk 2. <laughs> the original Frostpunk is a truly brutal city builder. Not only do you have to manage and grow a city, but you have to do so in freezing conditions. You'll never be able to save everyone, and it's a rare example of using narrative elements to create a genuinely high stakes city builder. Frostpunk 2 promises to be even more intense. The age of steam has passed and now oil leads the way as humanity's newest salvation. However, with new threats on the horizon, the future of the city looks even grimmer than before. Frostpunk 2 is apparently going to go vastly beyond the scale of the first one, uh, so I've never been so excited to start freezing. It's still listed as coming soon, so we're probably going to have to wait a little bit longer before we're able to jump back in to the frosty wasteland. In SteamWorld Build, you must escape a dying planet by building a mining town to dig up vital long-lost technology. Meet the ever-growing needs of your citizens, trade resources, and defend your mine from the creatures that lurk below. This game has a really great aesthetic. It looks super steampunky, it's got a great demo that's out now that you can check out. I covered it, linked in the top right-hand corner, and really, really enjoyed it. It's got a very interesting system of city building on top of the world, and then it's a whole other mining level below, which is how you get your resources. It really combines a few genres in unique and interesting ways. I'm really hopeful that the full release is gonna be just around the corner, but alas, it is still listed as coming soon, 
So we're just going to have to wait for this one. Ascent of Ashes is a city builder set in a post-apocalyptic dystopia. Build and defend your base, manage your survivors, engage raiders, aliens, remnant soldiers, and other factions in real time with Paul's combat, or use stealth to outwit them. Explore the massive world and survive at all costs. Build your survivors a base where they can rest and trade stories between adventures, farm crops, tame alien beasts, incorporate salvage technology, and fortify your home against hostile intruders. This is a great looking game. I'm super stoked to see how it turned out. Um, and it's got a really, really gritty vibe, which, uh, which I'm excited to dive into. Thankfully, this one is coming to Steam in quarter four of this year, so we don't have long to wait. Synergy is a stylized city builder that just looks wacky and unique. Humans live in a hostile planet, and to ensure their survival, they must learn to survive in extreme weather conditions and in an environment that is not conducive to their development. Careful and pragmatic management of resources has become essential to the survival of the human race, as has the morale of the population. Manage weather, seasons, extreme conditions, and natural disasters, and build a city with the happiness of its inhabitants as its main goal. A super interesting concept with snazzy art style, uh, still waiting for information on a release date, uh, but this is definitely one to watch. This is low-key one of the standout games that I'm interested in this year. This game combines city building and automation in a voxel world. Construct, grow food, control characters, and golem helpers, gather resources, remodel terrain and the flow of water, automate factories, and face a poisonous threat in a dynamic world with weather. Can you revive and prosper? There's an alpha that I checked out very recently for this one, top right-hand corner, if indeed you're interested. It's got so much potential, and I can't wait to see where it goes. It's quite similar to Timberborn with the sort of water management mechanics, but there's just so much soul here. I'd really encourage you to give it a wish list um, because I'm really excited to see where this one goes. No word on a release date yet, but I would really recommend that you follow the development of this one, folks. Yield is a deep and rewarding 4x city builder that is easy to learn but takes time to master. Spend your time making those interesting decisions instead of figuring out what the game is about. This is a great little hex-based city builder that keeps you on your toes. It's snappy and it's right to the point. There's a single player demo that you can play right now if you're interested, which takes you through all the mechanics and allows you to play uh, a sort of Roman scenario. Uh, check it out if indeed you're interested. Still listed as coming soon. We're going to have to wait a little longer to see this game come to Steam. Sticking with hex-based city builders, Hexarchy fits into a similar box, but this time you're ruling an ancient empire, and it plays quite like Civilization, which is great. There's a big old tech tree, and there's combat to match. However, the big old twist on this one is that it's a deck builder. Uh, don't be deterred because it actually kind of really works. Um, the game is super fast paced and there's this added level of strategy on top of your regular sort of civ-like gameplay style. Um, it really sort of surprised me at how interesting and well thought out um, it actually is. I played the demo, um, you can check it out. It's really excellent. Uh, I would encourage you to watch this one. It's coming later this year, which is great because I can't wait. Hear me out on this one, folks. Vampire Survivors crossed with a city builder. I know, I know, it shouldn't work, but it absolutely does. Super Fantasy Kingdom is a roguelike city builder set in a relaxing fantasy world. Explore and rebuild your kingdom to bring it back to its former glory. Defeat hordes of monsters with an always unique team of defenders. Harvest, build, mine, cook, brew, and feed, and most importantly, grow. However, you have to be prepared to watch it all burn down. You'll be building up a grand city again and again, but each time you get just a little bit stronger. What a great concept for a game. This one is due out later this year. Uh, it is really one that I would recommend that you follow through development because you just know it's gonna be a banger. So I've been a little critical of the name of this game, which for the record, I still think is garbage. Uh, what's not garbage, however, is this game. Myriad's Renaissance is a turn-based strategy game with city building and 4X mechanics. Set in a fantasy world made up of thousands of floating islands, you must grow your capital and expand your kingdom. Resist waves of powerful corsairs and construct defense towers to survive their incursions. This game is all about connecting islands and building a glorious capital city. It's good too. Um, this one is due out on the 1st of June, so almost no time at all to wait. I cannot overstate, this is such a lovely little game, and I really, really hope that it does well on release. Roots of Ig... 
Dracil, I think is how you say it. Uh, it's a druidic roguelike city builder that has a similar sort of vibe to Against the Storm. Set after Ragnarok, you must rebuild the world. Ragnarok left a broken and unbalanced world in its wake. Now caught in an endless loop of destruction, you must nurture the world tree, Yggdrasil, Yggdrasil, back to life to break the cycle and restore the Nine Realms to their former glory. It's got a unique art style, it plays really nicely, you'll be making a bunch of cities over the course of this game. Uh, it's coming soon, but tragically, no word of a, of, a, of a release date quite yet. Circle of Kurzavan is a charming settlement building strategy game paired with a rich simulation experience. Every animal and plant tries to find their place in nature whilst you lead your villagers to their future. Expand to different regions and trade with local factions to gain needed resources. This very much fits into the category of banished like sort of city building games, which is no bad thing. It's got seasons, factions, and a whole bunch of buildings to explore. And this one is definitely coming in 2023 with a Kickstarter before then. So keep an eye out if this is a title that you're interested in. Did you enjoy Before We Leave? It was a hex based city builder set in a gorgeous world with space whales and stuff. It was excellent. It was really, really good. Uh, Beyond These Stars is by the same developers, and instead of being set on a planet, you are on the back of one of those space whales. Building a city on the back of a sentient creature comes with its own set of challenges, but as you build your relationship and travel across the galaxy, you'll come across great opportunities for exploration and expansion. Meet other species, pursue the needs and wants of your peeps, and seek the truth about their ancestors and the space whales alike. We'll be waiting, waiting a little bit longer for this one as it's due out in 2024. However, if indeed you, you're interested in uh, before we leave hex-based city builders, then uh, Beyond These Stars definitely should be on your watch list. In King of the Dwarves, you get to build an epic kingdom inside a mountain in this underground city builder. Mine and build in a vast, procedurally generated 3D world, gather resources, research technology, train warriors and engineers, forge weapons, fight monsters, and manage hundreds of units. Become the King of the Dwarves. An underground city builder with dwarves and automation, honestly, what is not to love? This one looks to be in a very early stage of development at the moment and has no release date associated. Uh, however, it's definitely one to watch. In Gord, you play as a character charged with the defense of a village. Erect walls, develop structures, and grow your gourd from a humble settlement to a formidable fortress. However, expansion won't be easy. Your population is constantly at risk from enemy tribes, gruesome monsters, and mysterious powers that lurk in the surrounding woods. Maybe not everyone's cup of tea, as it's definitely not a strictly traditional city builder, but it might be an interesting one nonetheless. Since I last discussed the city builder, we know that it's now coming out in 2023, which is great news. Nothing more specific than that, I'm afraid, so you'll just have to keep on watching. Viking City Builder is a classic city building game with elements of real-time strategy sparkled on top. Make a new place for your Viking brothers and sisters to live. Build homes, longhouses, boating houses, ritual houses, and many more constructions from the era. Send your people to work or hunt for food in the wilderness. With combat and real-time strategy elements, this game promises to be all about conquest and city building. A great combination. No word on a release date yet, but this should be on your watch list for sure. Metropolism builds itself as the deepest city building simulation ever. Build, grow, and manage a bustling metropolis. Take on the administrative tasks necessary to keep a modern day city functioning, construction, zoning, transportation, budgets, city services, and more. You're in control of it all. Building cities is great, but managing them is where the real fun begins. Build, grow, and manage a town of zero into a world-class city with up to 10 million population, where each citizen is a fully simulated person with a job, an education, and a life. Take on the development and ongoing administrative tasks necessary to keep a modern-day metropolis running and flourishing. You'll need to be a city planner, engineer, and mayor if you hope to be successful. Metropolism is the definitive city builder. This one is listed as coming soon, so let's hope that it's actually coming soon. Become an orc war chief and fight for the survival of your race. Rebuild your village and train your warriors. Gather resources craft your weapons, raise your war banner, and gather the horde. You play as a young war chief, lusting for blood, and your warriors want revenge. Reclaim your lands, rebuild your villages, and bring doom down upon your enemies.
Gather the horde, and the horde will follow you to death or victory. It's up to you to lead the tribe. This game looks to be interesting. It looks to combine city building with a rudimentary combat system, and I'm very interested. Very, very cool indeed. This one releases at some point in 2023. In Fragile Existence, you've got to save humanity from the brink of extinction in this sci-fi strategy game of survival. Travel among the stars to seek out resources, establish and develop colonies to sustain civilization, and grow your military might to push back against an overwhelming threat. Combining city building, or should I say colony building, and space exploration gives you Fragile Existence. This game is coming along in 2024, so a wee bit to wait uh, before we get to play it, but it's published by Hooded Horse, which is a great endorsement of quality. Get subscribed to the channel if you're interested in watching coverage of this game when it comes out later next year. In Mars Colony Builder, you create futuristic cities, develop the infrastructure, make discoveries, explore and expand. Simply put, you'll be one of the first to build a settlement on the surface of Mars. There's been quite a lot of almost realistic Mars city builders coming out recently. Occupy Mars just came out, uh, not to rave reviews I must say. That being said, Mars Colony Builder looks to be interesting and I'll give it a look nonetheless when it releases. Speaking of a release date, there is nothing with regards to one, but I'll let you know when there is. Colonize is a city builder that centers on the economy, management of groups in a population, and general city management. It is an isometric classic. The player gradually builds a settlement, a city that has a character of a city-state, and everything that goes with it. Gradually, you'll be making various building improvements, exploiting new raw material sources, creating new laws, forming a government, and just managing a city. Um, I checked out the demo of this game. It's a little rough around the edges, uh, but it's got, it's got good visuals uh, and an interesting setting. I I think it was due to release in quarter one of 2023, but it has been pushed back to an unspecified time in the future. Congratulations, you've been chosen by the Emperor to be the new provincial governor. It's now your duty to maintain peace and prosperity in your region, and what better way to do that than designing the city of your dreams? Well, you do just that in Celestial Empire. Trade with others, take care of your people's needs, and make sure that they survive through all kinds of harsh winters and disasters. This game looks absolutely gorgeous, and I can't wait to dive in and just start building. Supposedly, this game is releasing in 2023 yet, uh, but there's no specific word on a release date. Um, however, I'll be sure to keep you up to date and let you know as soon as it's available. Have you ever wanted to build the City of Gold? Well, El Dorado The Golden City Builder is a single-player city-building economic strategy game that is set in the mysterious land of pre-Columbian Latin America, where wealth does not always lead to happiness and the anger of the gods can bring disaster to anyone who is not favorable to them. Plan the expansion of your city in a way to achieve the best economic efficiency possible. Skillfully manage the urban planning of your city as each and every building has a huge impact on the course of the game. One to watch, I'm sure you'll agree. Uh, no sign of a launch date yet, but it is supposedly coming in 2023. City of Atlantis is an isometric city-building survival game set in the world of the mythical land of Atlantis. According to legend, the city far surpassed other nations in terms of scientific, military, and economic advancement. One day, however, it vanished from the face of the Earth. Now, after centuries, it re-emerges from the ocean depths. What will you do to protect this re-emerged wonder of the world? Painfully, we still don't have any release dates or anything to go on with regards to the time frame of release for this game. However, I am super, super, super excited for it. Thrive, Heavy Lies the Crown is a medieval fantasy city builder that forces you to make dire decisions that ensure the survival of your kingdom and the people you lead. Volition is a valuable tool in your inventory as you build your city, shape the land, and fortify it as you see fit. Burdened by the weight of your decisions, a seemingly trivial choice can shape your legacy and determine if you're a soulless tyrant or a fair and just monarch. Will your kingdom merely survive, or do you have the resilience and the dedication to make it thrive? This is another title that I'm getting serious Frostpunk vibes from, which is great. Uh, the setting of this one interests me uh, tremendously. It's slated for release at some point in 2023, so we'll just have to wait for a little bit more information on this one. Spirit and Stone is pitched as a journey. That is, a kingdom's open journey from a small village to a patchwork of bustling castles. Build your kingdom block by block, explore the world, grow your industries, and watch your citizens thrive in your creations. Do it your way. 
there are no wrong choices. With all the classic city builder and colony sim management mechanics, you'll be managing a castle full of citizens in no time. With a simple art style, yet an intriguing premise, I'll be checking this one out when it comes out an unspecified date in the future. Gourdlets is a city building sandbox. Place buildings and scenery and then watch visiting Gourdlets arrive and interact with the world. No objectives, no points, just building. Pick from an uber cute catalog of buildings, plants, and decorations to design the perfect cozy paradise. You can even decorate the inside of buildings to create cute, cute cafes, libraries, houses, and more. The girdlets will arrive by train and start to inhabit the world as you build in it, you know, fishing in the pond, snoozing by the fire, and generally having a grand old time. Girdlets are super easy to please and will be happy no matter what, so it's your job to decide what their new home should look like. I think this is an acquired taste to play uh, a city builder without an objective, uh, but if this is something that you're interested in, then this could very much be the game for you. No word on a release date yet, but in the meantime, you can check out the demo to keep you occupied. If you're looking for a city building game that will make you thirsty for more, you might want to check out Homeseek. This game is set in a post-apocalyptic world where water is scarce and precious and every decision matters. You'll have to lead a group of settlers to find a new home in a hostile environment where resources are limited and dangers lurk everywhere. You'll have to plan your settlement carefully, balancing the needs of your people with the availability of water and other resources. You'll also have to research new technologies, explore the wasteland, and face ethical dilemmas along the way. Homeseek is a game that will test your strategic thinking and your moral compass while offering you a rich and immersive story. If you're up for the challenge, you can wishlist Homeseek on Steam and check out the demo to get a taste of what's coming. Just don't forget to drink some water before you start playing after it releases in quarter three of 2023. Complex Sky is a futuristic city building game with a unique architecture system. Build the city both ways, up and down. The world is devastated by pollution and it's up to you to create a fully self-sustainable city in the skies and populate it with human settlers. Create a world unrestricted by gravity. Unite buildings into wondrous formations, gather resources, create production chains, and develop the world's ecosystems. All to build a fully automated, self-sustainable city among the skies. It's unique and it's great, still listed as coming soon, so we'll be waiting a little while for this one. Sticking with vertical city builders, let's chat about Vertical Kingdom. Vertical Kingdom is a roguelike that mixes cards and cities. Due to the fact that there isn't much space, you have to build vertically with the help of platforms and other constructions. You'll go on expeditions to obtain resources that will help you improve your camp for the next trip. Uh, it's got a super unique aesthetic. I really enjoyed my time with the demo. If you're interested in city builders that play in a unique way, then uh, definitely check this one out. Become a king of the mystical and mysterious land of Thalandar. Rule a magical kingdom by indirectly influencing your people's actions, expand your cities, gather resources and protect your citizens from mystical monsters in this light-hearted strategy game. Are you ready to lead your people to glory? If so, know this, ruling a fantasy kingdom is no easy feat. You'll have to consider many factors and decide the best course of action so your loyal subjects can stay happy, safe, and satisfied. Remember, King's greatness is measured by the prosperity of his people. No release date yet for this one, but let's hope that it's soon. Birth of Cultures is a realistic historical turn-based city-building game featuring diverse planets, climate simulation, and a non-linear progression over more than 60,000 years of human evolution. Starting in the Ice Age, about 60,000 BC, you can play up into the era of ancient great empires and the fall of the Western Roman Empire. This game is huge, it can handle big maps, it looks very, very interesting indeed. This one is supposedly heading to Steam in quarter four of 2023, and I'm very excited to see how this one plays. In Cloud Exiles, you try to survive at high altitudes after a sudden disaster below. The zombies beneath you might be vicious, but the mist is actually the deadliest enemy you will face in this world. It spreads everywhere and doesn't dissipate. Even after you avoid becoming a zombie, being trapped in the mist will render you permanently comatose. Finding a way to avoid the mist could be the only way for you to survive. You've got to build a city in the clouds. How hard can it be? No word for a release date on this one quite yet, but definitely one to keep an eye on. This might be the most wacky city builder on this list. 
It's weird, it's quirky, and if the demo is anything to go by, it's gonna be great. Take fate into your own hands in Lakeburg Legacies, a social-based village management sim where love is your favorite resource. Play matchmaker to create the most effective and most loved up couples and help your kingdom thrive. How long will it take you to crown a sovereign? This one is coming out in quarter three of 2023 and I think it's gonna be great. And last but not least on this extensive list, we've got Tiny Atolls, which is a gorgeous hex-based city builder. Build bridges across colorful islands, unlock new tiles, and complete quests to expand your world. This game is all about making the right connections between types and colors. The more connections you make, the better the score, the more tiles you can place. In addition to regular tiles, you have access to a set of card tools that will help you expand your tiny settlement. Solving quests and earning points will allow you to choose Use the right tools you need to explore this and other islands and transform the landscape. So that's it for the upcoming list. Please do consider wishlisting the games that you see here to support the developers. It really does. It does let Steam know that it's an interesting game and it should be given. Uh, it should be given attention on the storefront. So definitely wishlist the games if indeed you're interested. And let me know in the comments. Have I missed any upcoming city builder that I needed to include on this list? Please do let me know, and I will look to include it in my next video about upcoming city builders. Uh, for my bonus games, which are just coming, I've tried to select games that have come out this year, are in early access, and play super well, or just generally deserve more attention. Without further ado, let's get to the bonus games. Right, so let's do this quick time, given that this video is already far too long, I've included far too many games in this list, but what can I say? I love city builders. Right, the first game uh, that I would strongly encourage you to check out that is out right now is called Mountain Core. Uh, it's kind of like RimWorld, but except for dwarves, and uh, it's really good, like it's really really good. Uh, it's one of those games that I don't think many people have heard of. It's just released into early access very, very recently indeed, uh, so you could do uh, a lot worse by checking out this one. Um, I did a video on it. Uh, I think I've used up all of my uh, my cards, my, my YouTube link things, but uh, yeah, check this one out on Steam. It's really, really good. Mountain Core, what can I say? It's lovely. Next one on this list is Blockville. Blockville is a stylized city builder. It's kind of like Lego, but it's also kind of like scenario based as well. Very, very cool. It's a whole bunch of wacky stuff that happens, including like UFOs landing. Uh, you've got like T-Rex disasters and fires and pandemic stuff. It's really good. It's really good. It looks the business. Um, it's a very visually strikingly unique city builder, uh, and I am here for that. That's Blockville. Check that one out on Steam as well. Diluvian Winds is kind of like a hamlet builder, more of a lighthouse builder, so to speak, than a, 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 a straight city builder. However, um, you build like a lovely little colony uh, for a whole bunch of different animals, um, and it's all about like running a little lighthouse. Um, it is unbelievably gorgeous to look at. It is like no other city builder that I've really played. Uh, it's got a really nice sort of chill vibe, even though you're making, you know, pretty interesting, uh, pretty interesting decisions. Diluvian wins. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to check out if you're into, uh, if you're into unique city builders for sure. Now, competitive city builders aren't really a thing. Um, it's not a genre that leans terribly well into competition, uh, but Dice Kingdoms is a, is a multiplayer city builder. You can play it with up to eight people. Uh, and it's really good. It's really, really good. It's really fast-paced. Games last, you know, usually about 40 minutes, an hour or so, if you're playing with a with a particularly large number of people. Uh, it's all about building up uh, a city that can withstand disasters and withstand your enemies. You also need to build up an army and send um, send your your troops across to other islands to to conquer them. Uh, it's all about dice, as you can probably tell from the uh, from the name of the game. Uh, but it's good. It's good. I've played it a bunch on the channel. Can't wait to play it some more. Uh, it's a it's a really really great city builder game. And finally, we have Moons of Arden, Moons of Arden, whatever. Anyway, this is a interplanetary city builder. It's all about building up. Uh, it's all about <laughs> building up cities on planets. Uh, what can I say? This is one of those games that I think is a really 
real, real, real sleeper agent of a game. It's really, really good. It's so much fun to play. Uh, I honestly cannot believe how it is not more popular. Uh, it is one of my, it is one of my favorite, uh, it's one of my favorite up and coming early access um, city builder games. It really is very, very good. You'll have an absolute whale of a time with this one. I'd thoroughly recommend that you check it out. So that's it for all of my games. The bonus games are now in front of you. The upcoming, best upcoming strategy games, city builder strategy games are all up in front of you. Uh, what do you think? What do you think of the list? Have I missed anything? Please do let me know. I'm very, very interested to hear what you have to say. Also, you know, quick plug for the Twitter. Go follow me on Twitter if indeed you're interested. I tweet all about, you know, new upcoming city builders pretty much, pretty much every day. Whenever there's a new announcement, I'll give it a retweet or something. So yeah, if you want to hear firsthand, before uh, before these videos get made, I, go, and, go, and, go and check out uh, go and check out the Twitter. If you want to help support, make videos like this possible, do consider checking out the Patreon page. Uh, all the money that is that is uh, that is made over there goes straight back into making these videos as good as they possibly can be. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. I'll see you next time. Bye.